full game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you some gameplay. Going to be using the Eagles as my team um, on, on offense. I'll be using Eagles as my uh, primary defense, and I'm going to have a custom playbook on defense. A little 34 action and a little uh, 43 action. So I come out of the Bears defense right here and uh, basically go with a, a, basically a man blitz. Uh, very easy to set the splits up, but this is a very high risk, high reward blitz, and you're going to see me uh, make some plays with this, and also get burned too right here. So second down type of situation, he actually misses a seam with a pass, um, and a, four, a third down situation, I go with a cover two shell right here, and he throws into coverage, and my defensive back is able to come up with the ball, and as you can saw, saw in the intro, defensive back is able to go ahead and pick six it right from the very beginning. So minute into the game, I'm already up by a touchdown, so feeling pretty good. So back to this 34 uh, bear defense, I've gotten away with two pretty good plays right here. Once again, he's he's got a trip set. It looks like it's a pistol formation um, with uh, with trips off the left. Pressure comes off the right. Blitz him again. He no huddles, um, and basically I go with the same type of a setup right here. And he makes the right read, the right decision. He just lofts the ball up. He's got Antonio Brown off the left hand side. He actually goes ahead, and does a little shake right there, and houses me for an easy touchdown. So. Um, that was a cheap touchdown, but it was a smart read on him, so uh, the guy's not an idiot who's, uh, who I was playing against. So this guy's actually playing kind of a unique defense. Um, he's playing a lot of cover, uh, basically cover shell with, uh, with a double spy, and he would use her as safety. So just a little bit of a different look. I didn't really see him do any kind of hybrid coverages, but you'll see while well, start breaking this, this defense down. So second and seven type of situation. Try to hit him with the, the 56 trap right there. He actually gets some really good penetration with the line. Third and eight situation, I do a, a deep comeback route because he kept running the same play. So I actually just do a nice uh, a nice little hook route right there. He's able to go and pick up a first down. So first and ten, back to the run right here. Get some pretty good blocking, but don't make a good stick move right there. Only get three yards off of it. And right here, I go into play action, uh, play right here. And you can see uh, Jackson has got his man beat. I get the ball down to the ten-yard line uh, in 40 seconds of the first quarter right here. So back into a single back set. He actually I did a like a, it was a, a alert type situation right there with the run. He splits the splits the tackle in the guard and is able to go and, and, and tackle me for a loss right there. So come back uh, to a play. I'm probably going to be breaking down on my channel so I can show you how to do it. It's a real good play. You run it stock and it basically beats all different types of coverages. So in the 43 defense, um, this defense actually gets pretty good block sheds. For some particular reason, I think I made an adjustment where my defensive guys actually played the run and they got, got themselves in the position. So do the same setup once again, showing him cover three, but this is with a cover two look. He actually blocks it and throws right at my user. My user is not good yet. I haven't really worked on my skills to get a better user right there. He goes ahead and knows huddles. This could be a theme of this drive right here. Just no huddles, no huddles, no huddles. I go to cover three version of this. He's He's actually in the bunch formation. I get a nice little block shot, but he actually throws right there to Gordon. He's able to go and get a nice little completion. No huddles again right here. I think I jump into, uh, I think it was man coverage or no, I was actually, yeah, back in the cover three shell right here, man coverage. And um, I just wanted to try to give him the same type of a look. Um, he, I got the guys going across the middle of the field. He actually, is, I, I don't know if he, if he, misdirected that, that wide receiver or not, but he was able to go ahead and get a nice little completion. So first and 10 situation, he's moving the ball pretty effectively. He's no huddling down the, uh, down the middle of the field right against me. Um, I go ahead and cross man my, my, my defender right there, and he actually drops it down to flat and I have a flat defender out there to take him out. Staying with the same cover three shell, cross manning um, Brown. He seemed like he was more of a threat of all his wide receivers, and he's able to go ahead and hit me on a little out route with Edelman. Uh, to pick up another first down. So first and 10 situation, I jump into a different version. I'm actually in uh, the cover three shell out of that uh, 34 bear defense, and he's able to go and find the seam with Brown and get a nice little touchdown. So the one time I do not cross man Brown, uh, he's able to go and hit the seam. So back, I got two minutes left in the game right here. 
And what I'm thinking right now is just get some points on the board. Actually try to take an, uh, a nice little out route uh, right there. So third in nine situation. Once again, he's playing a lot of man coverage with a double uh, double safety buzz. So I just hit him with a nice little hitch route because he's not pressing my guys. And I'm actually getting a nice little completion. So uh, I come back into this play. This is a, one of my favorite plays. It's just a well-designed play right here. And I think what I did is actually did a, uh, did a deep pitch with Aguilar, did a drag underneath, once again hit the hitch. And I possession catch that I probably could have racked that for basically a touchdown or more. So right here, Cole into the trap. He, he penetrates right there and actually gets a nice little completion. And um, right here, actually, the play broke down. I actually hit the running back off the left-hand side. Get a nice little completion. Take a timeout right here. Try to save some time. 32 situation, jump into the snug set. Playing a lot of man coverage, so the, the, the quick out is able to go get myself a nice little uh, first down. So first and ten situation, going back to a play. I take a shot up top with Ertz, but Ertz does not come down with it. Third and ten situation, once again, looking to Ertz. I've got a corner route right here, actually gives it to me. But instead of actually going ahead and, and possession catching, I rack it, and as a result, I do not catch it in bounds, and I've got to settle for uh, three points right here. So... Up 17-14 to 14 going into the second half. He had a couple plays, but he didn't really do anything with the ball. And uh, <clears throat> kind of an autopilot right here. So he was doing a lot of man coverage. He was doing off coverage. So I was able to go and hit him with quick outs that essentially was eating it up. And I was just waiting for this guy to make some kind of adjustment, make some adjustments. Uh, so I didn't want to go ahead and just keep hitting him with the center of play right here. Could have went house with this figure to run. Uh, just spun a little bit too much. Uh, second and four situation. Now he presses his guys right here on this type of situation. So what I do is I go ahead and run to one of my favorite plays. He peels off. Look at the line, look at the tight end right in the middle of the field, wide open. You get the ball down to the one yard line in the first minute. So I'm kind of an autopiler here. Just go a little pitch play. Always one of the best plays to call uh, with the goal line situation. Start with a pitch uh, and then and set your audibles accordingly. So I, I decided to go into a cover th uh, a 34 defense, uh, cover four drop show, to, uh, show two. And I made a quick adjustment right here where my guys actually came down. They're playing the run. He's able to go and hit me in the seam. If you would have hit that outside receiver instead of the seam receiver, that would have been a touchdown. So go back. He no huddles again. So now I'm very conscious. And I, I just press my guys, but I don't make any kind of line adjustments because I don't want these guys falling back. And I want I want him to beat me uh, with his play. So I send the dogs after him right here. He tries to make a play. Smartly, he throws away the ball. He didn't make a, de a bad decision right there. So now I come into... Uh, cover three shell that I tried earlier in the red zone. I'm showing this guy um, the, the the blitz off the left-hand side, but it's actually a cover three shell. So I've got guys floating all over the area. I get a nice little block shed right there, and I come up with the ball again with another interception. So uh, feeling pretty good right now. <clears throat> Go with a little uh, outside run with the stretch play. Um, now I go into another play, which is an empty set. This is a nice little play that's worked before in the past, but he actually clicks on and makes a good user play. That could have been some good yards if he didn't click on. Uh, so jump back into one of my uh, one of my favorite money plays right here, Motion and Jeffrey, so I can get a little bit more separation at the out outside. So do uh, actually make adjustment to an out route. And right here, um, he actually has it all locked up. So I actually throw the ball to Jackson. Jackson's able to come down with it and, and get me in a fourth and three situation. This is the bonehead move uh, play of the game. I should have kicked this ball away, but I just felt like if I ice this guy, which I do right here uh, with the levels concept, I'm just going to basically put this guy out. So this is another play that you've probably seen on my channel. I've broken this down. This is a really great uh, offensive play to use. Uh, it uh, beats, basically beats cover two, cover three, cover four, and a lot of man coverages here with a deep comeback route. And we're going to pop this and get a good release. Jackson is a very underrated receiver. He's very good in this game. And I come into um, an RPO. Uh, with a post route, motion my guy over, I get some pretty good blocking right here, and then he clicks on and makes a bad play, and able to go house against this guy, and go up by another score, so game's pretty much out of reach right now, um, he is not in a good situation, and I think actually he checks out after this, so once again my subscribers, thanks a lot for your support guys, I really appreciate it, I'll be rolling with more gameplay coming up soon, and until next time.